What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics and we like to make videos about reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them and we do all kinds of videos just within our reptiles and amphibians. But today guys, we are going to be feeding Mr. Shaky over here the Eastern Diamondback Rouse Snake. So as always, we got our snake holding receptacle ready. So we can get our snake out and get him moved in here. So make sure we go ahead and take our lid off. This should be good. Sit that off to the side. Have it ready as well. And since he's right here in the front, we need to slowly but surely let down our glass here, which I'm pretty handy with the old snake hook. If you guys did not know, and we want to try to get our snake friend here by the back half of his body. All right, so we got him doing comfortable. I'm holding, supporting the back half of his body, as you can tell. Pretty large Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, if I do say so myself. He wanted to hold on to him, so didn't want me to mess with him anymore. He's a pretty awesome snake, I would say. Pretty well mannered. I got to get a little bit bigger snake hooks, a little bit wider ones to help support the body a little bit more. I think that'll be good for him. But let's go ahead and get him back over here into our snake holding receptacle. And he'll be good to go. Make sure he can get his head down in there. You can hear him buzzing off here. I don't know if you guys hear that or not. Booyah! He is locked and in there. So we got a little bit of cleaning we got to do. He's got a little bit of poop in his cage over here by the water bowl. We're going to dump out his water, give him some fresh water. And do all that because the most seems to be pretty fine. I spot clean this stuff all the time. So... It stays pretty clean to me and I gotta change it out probably in another week or so and we'll put all fresh mulch in there. So we'll get started with the feeding video after we show you guys taking, taking this guy out of the bucket here, putting him back in his enclosure and uh, show you. We got an uh, actual rat this time because uh, our rats had some babies and all. And then, you know, updates with the shed and all the other stuff's going on too. You guys can kind of tell we got the roof and everything is looking good up here. Got all the boards and everything up. So, Shed's doing good, still in a little bit of a mess, but we got it. And it takes time, you know, I, mean, I do it one day at a time, but we'll be back. All right, so we are back, guys. And we got our snake in here, snake holding receptacle. Closure's all cleaned out, got all the highs, water bowls on, stuff, and poop, and the spicy meat balls. And now we got to get our snake back in here, but always want to be careful. Always crack one end of the lid here. You can see where Mr. Shaky's at. He's right up here where I was taking the lid off. So that's the reason why you always use your snake hook to take your lids off of things if you can help it, man. Because you just never know what the snake is doing on the inside of this here thing. So let me get you guys put back on tripod because he wants to come out. And we're going to get him out. Come on, my friend. Let's go. We'll get you back in your home. We don't want to upset you too much, do we? All right, so once again, guys, that is him, Mr. Shaky himself, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Awesome snake, I love him to death. He is a gorgeous and awesome specimen, but we're gonna kind of get him to go back in his little house here. He normally will see it and kind of, he'll work himself right back up in there. We just wanna make sure we support his whole body. As he goes back in his cage. 
thing. Wait till you get his last little bit of tail in there. Locked up, secure, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we need to get started with the feeding portion of the video. So three guys, three, two, one. So let's get started with the feeding portion of this video. And I gotta say it one more time. You gonna know this name by the end of this video. This is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake the Crotalus adamantius. So if you don't know, you need to know because this is one of the best rattlesnake species in my opinion because they are the largest. And these things can come in around three to six feet long, guys. That's a big that's a big snake to me just in general, six foot long snake. And some of these individuals can get even bigger than that if you don't believe me. They can get up to seven plus feet long. So pretty healthy snakes. As you can tell, they're the Eastern Diamond Bag. That's why they have these diamond markings you can see going down the middle of his back to a little bit more of a dusty brown kind of grays and tans and all that going down the sides with some black markings as well. Another cool thing about this snake is they have a pretty potent hemotoxic venom. So I got a little picture here on the screen, show you some of the differences in between the venoms. It's an awesome little guide to have to be teaching you guys and learning about these species as well. So this snake can be found across a lot of the southeastern United States, including parts of Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and the Carolinas. And they inhabit a variety of ecosystems, including your pine forests, swamps, marshes, and your coastal dunes. So cool thing about this snake, I like to mention this with a lot of my species, is the fact that they're ovoviviparous. This means these snakes are live birthing snakes in a way because they just take their eggs internally inside of their body and the eggs actually hatch while they're still inside of the female's uterus area and then they come all out as live babies and just kind of poop them all out you know what i mean it's a pretty cool thing here and i got some new snakes coming in on the way it'll be some more rattlesnakes man just take a guess at what that could be so and we're going to be hopefully breeding this guy here here in the next probably five or six years or so, he's definitely got a lot more growing to do. Maybe I'll get some more, and maybe I can find another Eastern Diamondback. We'll just have to see, but make sure you guys try to guess what these things are gonna be. So, be some awesome stuff. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started with this here feeding video. Stop holding you guys up. Oh God, Jesus. So I think what we are gonna do, is I think we're going to put a little mouse friend in here on the left side. And maybe we can catch a good glimpse. And really see what's going on. You seen that? He seemed like he's interested in that thing. He's like, man, you done got me a rat today. There ain't no little mouse. I'm telling you, if that guy moves a tad, it's over with. Let him come out of that corner. Hit him with the Naruto. Fang over fang. He's cracked, he's pushing. Well, don't mind me, Mr. Thank you, thank you. Let's try to get a good shot for my friends here. He back there. He waiting on you. Uh-oh. Sure you can.
He got a little aspen stuck in him. I think he just got it out. He hit him with a good little, little strizite just then. Meanwhile, it looked like our camera battery is about to die, so I got to be ready to change them on that in a moment's notice. Luckily, we got some new ones already charged up. We just got to go get that bad boy. Well, since our snake friend here didn't really seem like eating the live rat, so we went ahead and got him a fresh killed one. I'm not really a fan of doing this kind of stuff, but you know, Maybe that'll get him to take this, because last time I believe that's what we did, and he kind of went, went along with this right here. So let's see if I can get a little bit better angle here. So maybe that's what we need to get a good angle so you can sniff this guy. Cause he will eat, that's the thing. Cause look at him, see? Give him a little second, kind of let him nibble on it a little bit. And he pretty much take this on his own. So we'll slowly close that up. And then we'll back up and let it. Let him enjoy it now, because I'm pretty sure he's gonna figure out a way to eat this little unit. <laughs> 